This week, Discox is from Christian Mistress. It's Agony and Opium, which is their first full length released in 2010 by 20 Bucks Thin. They have a five piece heavy metal band with roots in Washington. So there's that. Only roots, the flowers are elsewhere. Well, they moved to Portland later on, so. Uh, the whole, the yeah, whole band fun. moved to Portland. Yeah, well, it says on the metalum they started in Washington and then it says Portland later. Okay, so I picked this album because uh, I've, been, I've liked it for quite a long time. I've had it in my record collection oh, okay. since probably about 2000. And well, when did I start collecting records? 2011? So yeah, probably that year. In... Whatever year yeah. it was, it was that year. Yeah, about 10 years. And uh, yeah, I've been a fan of it. And I was listening to them last week and I thought, eh, yeah, I might, might propose that for the old Discogs. And here we are. Here we are indeed. Yes. I have it playing now. Me too. I might put it on then if you're both listening to it. Yeah, do it, do it. I think that's going to be the new tradition. So, riding on the edges. we have to say about riding in so what i'll say is yeah straight away uh on this i i like the sound it, it's very classic yeah uh, it's very very traditional riffing as well high um, energy heavy metal yeah yeah <laughs> And I like I like her voice, um, and in a weird way, the the way that the elements come together. This is this, is, this was a first impression, um, and I, I don't know if you're familiar at all. But the the way that all the elements come together and the kind of general sound, uh, also in terms of how she sings and how she emphasizes words, it reminds me a lot of Witchfinder General. <laughs> Have you ever listened to them? I haven't actually. You I don't think. I... Well, I know I'm I'm aware of which Finder General, but I don't think I've ever actually. It's worth it. One yeah. one way that you can tell if you like it or not, listen to which Finder General, which Finder General. Okay. <laughs> like the Is next the, one... the next thing. Go on. Is that the one with the titties on the cover? Yes, they both. Yeah. They uh, yeah. all their albums do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Essential boob metal. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you mentioned the vocals. I was yeah. thinking, how would I describe... Like, the only word I could come up with was like, smoky. Yeah, no, I, I have... I thought that exact word. Um, yeah. Uh, 
shit bag. Yes. What? You said my name. Yeah, what? What do you want to say? I want to say... I like it. I like the uh, the first song. I do. I like the um, way the guitars sound and how they're playing. How it leads nicely and the structure is really nice. I also like the vocal line she takes. I think that works really well within the song. And I haven't seen the lyrics. I was going to search it up, but like. I, I had of, a look at them. You They're, can understand the lyrics when she when she sings them. Sometimes on, yeah. on some of the songs, yeah. <laughs> you can't always. Some of them are a bit slurred together. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I just additionally, I'll say this that is the, why this is why I mentioned it in this one because you can actually understand her in this one. Like oh, okay, all. all right. I, I just. Quickly as well, I, uh, the 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 solo is fun, and I I yeah. enjoyed where it went and how it developed. I liked it. Solo is really good. Um, out of interest, shitbag. Do, do you see what I mean by the which one the journal comparison? Yeah, because I I I listen to which one the journal quite often actually. So the next track, if we're ready to go on to the next track, I think we are. Yeah, Desert Rose. <laughs> off with some drums and a little bit of bass pulse and I think the technique the guitar is called violining I don't use it a lot but the, where it swells yeah yeah oh, okay I'm pretty sure that's called violining but obviously I don't use it so I don't remember what it's called but yeah, it uh, sounds how, cool. how, how do they do it do you know how they do it yeah they it's right at the start of the track if you put it at the start of the track um what you do is you play the note with the volume down and then you turn it up and back down again and you do that so you sort of fade the note in and out oh that meow 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 yeah okay yeah right right uh, okay interesting this one's a little bit slower than the first track Um, the main riff yeah. I thought was a little bit repetitive, but the song mm. itself is led by the vocals, so yeah. it's not too much of an issue. Yeah. I, I, in my opinion, uh, it's a very classic sounding doomy song. Mm. Uh, it is almost pentagram esque. There's a, I think there's a couple of solos in this one. Overall, it is a fairly simple song, uh, but 
I like it, and and the, there's a there's a catchy chorus which I quite quite enjoy. Back. Well, it's like you touched on everything that I was going to say about it, about the uh, like the start with the drums, and then I thought it was bass coming in and out, but then you said it's actually no, guitar, it's like a bass pulse yeah. at the start, and then the guitars. Yeah. yeah. You got anything else to say about Desert Rose? No, not really. It's just. Uh, it's a pretty. I thought it's pretty. Uh, yeah, slow, standardy sort of doom. Wasn't. Yeah, they're not. They're not normally because they're normally they're just kind of. Uh, I'd say I. I don't know if this is true or not. In my in my view, they seem like quite traditional heavy metal. But this this song sort of stands out as being a bit more doom. It's got some doomy elements on it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Should we go on to? Um, Track number three. Yeah. That's Home in the Sun. Yes. That's a really old school riff at the start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's a real old school yeah, riff. no, yeah, that is that yeah. definitely actually. Uh, I think this song is it is all right until we get to the hook, uh, which is catchy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> And then, then we get onto the the solo. The, the solo is good, but I will say that I prefer the first part of the solo. I, I'm not crazy about solos that suddenly change their entire character and direction entirely like part of the way through um it i get why like I, I, you know you're, you're trying to sort of display a sort of versatility but it in my opinion i feel like it sort of affects the integrity of the song a bit but um I, know, I guess that's all I have to say on that. But uh, it it seems a bit more simple, perhaps, than the previous track. Mm, yeah. Mm. No, I don't think it's more simple. Mm. I'm gonna have Fair to on. disagree. Mm. Right, the drumming pattern in this is fucking not simple. There's a lot more going on in this than there was in the previous track. Fair enough. It's fine. Yeah. Mm. I Uh, the harmony behind the chorus is really good. And there's one bit sort of towards the end where it's got like a certain vocal pattern. Uh, it's really catchy. It's like the yeah. cheap, sorely down. Cast. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fucking sick. 
I, I wish that happened more than once. Uh, that yeah. that is one thing I'll say. So because gutsy. yeah, uh, yeah. That, that was like this is a this is sort of problem I sometimes have with certain certain tracks where it's like that like a riff comes around or or a, um, a vocal line like like some particular hook will come and it's like oh man yeah that's yeah. really really sick I want to hear that again. And then they don't do it again, and it's like, ah. Oh. Tell you what, a recent example: "Video Nasty" Waste. by Video Nasty, on the last track of that EP or album, whatever you want to call it. The last track, there's a riff that they play right at the end of the last track, and they literally just play it once. What's like it one called? One bar. Um, I can't remember what the last track's called, but Video the album, Nasty. Video Nasty by Video Nasty. Yeah, you'll find it on YouTube. But the last, last riff, the last track. They play once, and I was like, "Oh fuck, that's so good! <laughs> do that, do that again." Um. Anyway, I think I've said everything I want to say about this track, shitbag. Well, basically, <laughs> it's too nice again. Well, basically, um, <laughs> the guitar riff in solo is quite cool. It's like it's what I expect from a heavy metal guitar solo and then it goes, yeah. it goes like at the at the end where it's like and then you get the sugar from the drums <laughs> Banging, mate. Like it. That's like that's how every solo should end. <laughs> um, the other thing is, this is where the vocalist is like sort of like slurry. So this is where, like, you, there's a few words I couldn't get and didn't understand. I don't think this is her slurriness at its worst. I think that's no, to come. no, that's to come. But like, this is where I started noticing it. I don't, and I, I don't have a problem with that. No, no, no. It's, it can... it's, it's kind of good. It fits the song, like it fits yeah. the style. But like the first two, you can actually hear her, and this one, it's like in bits, it starts getting a bit. But it's it's still good. Still enjoy listening to it. Yeah, that's it for me, I think. Okay, cool. Poison except, Path. Except for Poison Path is a fucking banger. Yeah. Another quality, high energy, heavy metal track. I don't mm. think there's much analysis I can give this without repeating myself. Uh, the drummer's killing it on this one, though. Yeah, man. Like, he's going batshit. <laughs> Uh, 
and the guitar leads again. It's really good. Hmm. Okay. It, interesting. Because I'm not. I'm actually not too crazy about this song. Um, just doesn't really engage me very much. The as is a general theme on this album, the solo is very good, but I I can't listen to songs just for the solo. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. You, you obviously you both really like this song. It yeah. just doesn't really, doesn't really stick with me much. But that's as well, I can't really say anything else. See, I, I don't have much to say about it, but that's only because it's similar. What I would say is similar to what I've said before. So yeah. it's not. It's just cool riff and yeah, cool metal song. But yeah, it's which is what like... we like. It is what we well, like. I also, well, it's about like minute 30 in where it's like doodle doo, doodle doo, doodle doo, doodle doo, and they're doing the really nice um, fill with a cymbal hit over the top. It sounds fucking sick. And then, like, the um, at the end of it, like about two minutes in, he does the pauses on the drums with more sugar digger diggers. Yeah, love it. Love a sugar digger digger. Absolutely love it, man. I love a sugar digger digger. <laughs> you love a sugar digger digger. Sugar digger digger digger. Sugar digger digger digger. Should we go on to the next, next track? Next track, man. Let's do it. Bit, bit more punky this one um yeah. be honest not overly feeling this um and i think this is the first or actually i think this is probably the only time where i think the solo is a bit meh um where i'm not overly enthused about it And I also think um, this this track is the first time where, when I was when I was listening to this, for the sake of actually coming up with kind of like review conclusions, I was following along with the lyrics as I do, and this is the first time when I like lost track and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. And I and yeah. I I could not work out like <laughs> like what what she was saying. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand how that fits into what the lyrics are, but, but all right, fine. <laughs> Maybe it's like uh, slam lyrics where they have lyrics, but they don't. 
It's just emphasized weirdly. Just, like, what? Disavow, disavow. Well, disavow, <laughs> disavow that. Are you right saying that they that. use the slam lyrics? Yep. <laughs> 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 are, you, are, you say... disavowing, are you disavowing the fact that that was said about slam or you're disavowing a non-slam band using slam lyrics pro or slam techniques pro avow slam lyrics pro avow using slam lyrics in regular songs disavow so that slam bands don't use their lyrics because slam bands <laughs> do <laughs> the fuck no they don't I'm disavowing it. Some might not, but a good chunk of them will. All right, listen. Just just so you're aware, 20% of slam bands do use their lyrics, okay? <laughs> Can we just fucking get that clear? Maybe when they start, like, when people started writing slams, so, like, suffocation, maybe they used their lyrics. Mate, but... mate, no, no, no. You're, no, like, no, no. Rectal lobotomy, or whatever the band's called. Ingested use their lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, I'm getting well wound up. Of course they use their lyrics. <laughs> they don't use their lyrics. They do. <laughs> Some might not. Fucking hell, bro. Search for suffocation on Spotify and look at the face of the lad on the far right. Is he suffocating? <laughs> He looks like fucking Will- Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm something of a of a musician myself. <laughs> oh, are we still talking about Black Fiddle? <laughs> are we talking about Willem Dafoe? <laughs> <laughs> Still talking about Black Widow, or now we're just talking about William Defoe. Uh, <laughs> so, who is William right. Defoe? What does he do? Uh, William Defoe? Uh, Willem Spider Man. Yeah. I know, it's, I know. It's the Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, the Green Goblin. I know, I know. But and I just want to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's it. That's all you need to know about him. Oh, he was in the American Psycho as well, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. We, we've had yeah. your review of Platoon on fucking DMDS. I still need to watch the film, bro. Well, shit bag. We need to get on that then. Well, Actually, what, you can fucking show me it. Why do I have to watch Platoon with you? Because it's oh, sick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. Ne- no, ne- never fucking mind then. Never will, fucking will, mind then. We'll watch it with you, man. Nah, it's all right. I don't fucking give a shit. All right. <laughs> Should we get into Omega Stone? Have we spoken about Black Vigil yet? Yeah. Have we? I don't yeah. think we have. I think you are. Yeah, we have. Yeah, it's a punky one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It says Agony and Opium in this track, though. <laughs> what? She says, she says Agony and Opium in this. They said the name! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's that. In instant one 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 bold nonce deducted for saying album in, <laughs> in a That's song. That's a good thing. I'm, yeah, it yeah. can be a good thing. No, uh, it's always a good thing. So why are you deducting a bold nonce? No, I'm no, deducting bold nonce is a good thing. Good you thing. Bold nonce is. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. I forgot our own system. <laughs> Your fucking system. Got him. Okay, a mega stone. Ooh, wah, ah, right. Ah, ah. It really stands out because yes, it's ballady yeah. and nothing yeah. else is like this. Oh, 
I used that word as well, so yeah. I will not use that word now. <laughs> Until about halfway through. It sounds very yeah. 70s. Yeah. It's got 70 sounds. So, I don't think it needed to be different because it's really short. It's only 27 well, minutes long. It, did, it, did, it didn't need to be. It I don't think there's any harm in it. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't need to be, but it was nice to have uh, a variety. Thing. Yeah. I thought you were like, it, it, <laughs> why is it different? Well, it doesn't <laughs> need to be different. It doesn't need to be different. Just, just, just be the same. I don't like, want to change. It, it, the song sort of reminds me of it would be it would be fitting in like a Wayne's World film or like a rock and roll film, you know, like you, when they go see a band live. That's what you. Yeah, I get what you mean by that. That scene. I get what you mean. Actually, weirdly, <laughs> I see some logic in your insanity. Yeah, it, it's the slow, it's the slower, introspective one, at least for the first part. Um, yeah. And then you've got that fucking banger of a solo. I think there's again two solos in this song, but the the first solo is kind of like the dividing line. Mm. And then, then. No, you are we all on, stopping I... speaking? No, you carry on. <laughs> my, my point's more general, so you finish your. Uh... So uh, I, I'll, I'll say that after that, like, initial. Um, initial solo or divide in line one uh, i like how the the song picks up the aggression and then yeah. there's in the in the second half of the song you've got that that nice tasteful use of tremolo picking and the passionate singing And I think the outro is very cool. Um, when it shits the bed. Yeah, yeah. 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 going to say as a general point for the album uh, it's very guitar heavy yeah but you don't really notice it unless you're listening for it yeah but at the same time like they know where to they yeah. use the the vocals in a good way and they know like where to sort of rely on it like there's a lot of times where even though it's a very like traditional guitar album there's yeah. there's a lot of catchy vocal lines yeah that that i appreciate and 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 again like particularly home in the sun uh, we've talked about it i sort of wish they did a bit more with that yeah brought it um, back again but at the same time i know there's a risk there of maybe going too far so shitbag do you have anything to say about omega stone um, I'm a mega stoner. Cool. I'm not actually. I, I don't think I ever get stoned. Um, but what I will say is this: I listened to this album for the first time half an hour. You already said this. Huh? What? Carry what? on. What? Carry on. Then what did he just say? He said you already said this. What, why? Don't worry, just carry on.
What happened? Are you confused? No, I'm just upset. But... Oh, you muted yourself as well. <laughs> you muted yourself in protest. Yep. What do you want to say about Omega Star? No, I want to say fucking nothing now. I, okay. Uh, two bold nonces in total. Okay. Oh, my God. Fuck so God. overall, I think this album is a very good album. Uh, uh, I like the guitars and harmonies. Drummer is a mad lad. And the vocals <laughs> are cool. And I think all the elements come together. Yeah. And the production quality suits the music perfectly. And yeah. 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 What do you think? So... All right, so I do like the album, but I'm hit with a realization that if you don't really like something or conversely really dislike it, it's difficult to offer too much in the way of commentary. Yeah. Like you can, if if you really like something, let, let's let's take for example how we all were with um uh primordial you can easily be very passionate about it and let, let's let's also on the on the other coin flip of that if you really dislike something like um <laughs> like thorarod you can also be equally passionate about why you dislike it and what what everything is all the elements that you think contributed to why you hate it so much if you find something all right just all right it's a bit more difficult to uh, to get overly specific because it, if something's non-offensive just by definition nothing's really pissing you off <laughs> Um, yeah. and it, it, it's worth saying that, that any complaints I do have about um, perhaps maybe not entirely holding my attention or being a bit simplistic this album is only 27 minutes long so I can see myself listening to it again as again yeah it, it's, it's inoffensive and I like parts of it a lot it's just maybe I, I guess it's a taste thing. I've dwelt on this for too long. I get. I guess you probably know what I'm trying to say. You're gonna give it three and a half old nonsense. Fucking hell! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good. I know. All right. Fair. Fair play. <laughs> You're trying to say it's middle of the road. Sort of, yeah. Well, mine was going to be three, but I had the minus one off because of the uh, saying, the album title, and it's... <laughs> That's all it takes for you, yeah. literally saying the, you're actually going <laughs> to follow through with that. Nice. Uh, well, I might, I'm actually no slouch when it comes to following through. <laughs> oh. I've shat myself every more time. In my, <laughs> more in my You've adult. shat yourself at least three times while we've been recording. <laughs> no, I've shat my I've shat myself at least five times in my adult life. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shat myself in my living memory. <laughs> I sneezed once on a, on a, on my. Uh... Did you shat yourself? I sneezed and shat myself. I was really in. I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god! Shat myself while my girlfriend. I just fucking spat vodka all over my phone, all over my mic. Fuck you, you <laughs> cunt! Okay, so I was gonna give this when I was before. I thought I'd give it about two bold nonces, but then I was listening to it. <laughs> oh, and okay, I, like, I actually really like this. It was really good, and I, I was like, I can't get it. I can't give it no bold nonces. Can't do it. <laughs> I fucking so, hope not. It's not like a perfect album, so I can't give it no bold answers. But it's really good, so 
I've given it half a bold nonce. Fucking hell. Yeah. So, um, what's the average? Oh, okay. So where what where, where are we at? So I was three point five. You yeah. were half, and shitbag yeah. was two. Yeah. Average two. Two. So Christian average mistress, two. Agony and opium. Two bold nonces. Next. Yeah. I, I actually, I, to be fair, you know, even though I rated it three point five, I can see how that's a fair. That's a fair score. Um, it, it's not it's not a bad album um i i have seen because uh, obviously you know when you're reviewing an album sometimes you know you see what other people are thinking yeah as well i can see it was quite highly rated and most people have rated it higher than i have but um yeah i can see i can see that as a first score so that yeah well deserved it's a good album i'll definitely listen to it again um yeah Listen to Possession as well, because when I was... I have. Oh, okay, I good. Have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was trying to decide what to put up for review, I was torn between... Because there's a couple of tracks on Possession which are really good. Uh, Black to Gold yeah. and Haunted Hunted are really it's, good. Uh, not, um, I've not listened to the whole thing, but I've, yeah. I've listened to uh, the odd the odd few. Uh, what what I've heard I like. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to listen to Possession. I'll listen to it properly like after this and then yeah. I'll get back to you on that. Safety. Safety. 